What up, what's good? What it, what it do? What's going on, YouTube? Get a blind. What another one? What's going on YouTube, it's Dieter Milan back to, with another video today. I'm sorry about the light and things of that nature, nature but uh, basically, I see y'all like the video about me doing a tattoo on myself. So, I wanna thank y'all uh, a bunch. Uh, so it led me to drop this video or create this video. So, without further ado, I'm gonna get into the actual review of the Timu Tattoo Gun. Uh, it doesn't have a name, things of that nature, but, uh, I'm gonna give y'all my pros and cons from a beginner's perspective, if you will. And, yeah, let me just, what I, I'm gonna just get into the video. So, I think I paid, like, what, 30 to $39 for the entire kit, which included just, it came in this little box and a few other boxes. Can't really say too much, uh... The actual gun is right here. It's all wrapped up right now, but it's like very, very small. Like I have medium sized hands and it's very, very small. Like compared to my iPhone case, and I have the iPhone 12. That's a good comparison right here. So it's pretty small, so it's compact and it's easy to use to me. Um, and it came with, I think what, five additional one raw liners. Uh, as you can see, I'm at four for practicing on myself and also my fake skins. And it came with one additional fake skin, which is not the best, but as far as like the feel and touch, it feels more better than the ones I bought, purchased from another vendor. So that's a pro, I guess. I've been told to get the real skin because it's about th it's thicker uh, and it feels silicone just as well as this. Uh, so let me give y'all, a hint of both of the skins. I know this, this is, should be in a separate video, but this is the skin I bought from someone else. It feels completely like rubber, shitty as fuck. Same depth, and this was like, it feels silicone. Much smoother, skin like, same depth. It's like they're both pretty thin, so nothing I can really learn from as far as like learning depth and things of that nature. Uh, but it came with this you can adjust it uh the thing i like about this is it gives you more range for voltage um i'm not a professional but i assume that you need more range for certain things so it goes up to 18 volts uh most of the ones i've seen went to like what 12 uh, max 12 um some the max was like what 10 maybe even 15 but yeah, I just I just thought the higher the voltage, I guess, is the better. Um, but it comes with this foot pedal that it comes with. Um, pretty much easy to set up. Give you that much. It's pretty much easy to set up. And basically, that's pretty much it. It came with that. Uh, my pros and cons with this tattoo gun is that I wish... I wish, I wish that it, I can adjust, like, I think you can, like, unscrew it, like, outside of this grip tape, under the grip tape, it's something you can, like, unscrew, in a sense, to get, like, the change the depth of the needle, but I don't think you can, and, yeah, that'd be the downside to this machine, due to it being not have well due to it due to it not having the option to pretty much adjust the length of the depth of the needles. Um also I'm gonna make this a two in one. So the team the Timu uh needle gun and also the Timu Poseidon ink cartridges. So I ordered this on Timu as well. Came with 50 pieces. Uh I can show y'all a new tattoo I've just done as well. Let me get into that one moment. Okay, so as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll have uh, a video either here or here for you guys. But uh, I just pretty much added to my arm right here. It's generational curse breaker. 
tatted it right here and um i did pretty well this is i'm really proud i can see my line work getting better my shade 10 times better than what it was at first by any means i'm not a professional still but from looking at the rest of my artwork on my arm my shading is is up there um it's ha it hasn't hit the healing stage it's, i've only had this for about not even 24 hours so yeah i can't really give you any insider pros and, con uh, and cons on this uh actual piece right here and my next piece as y'all can see before i even touch my skin with like any like actual portraits i trust myself for like let's just say i trust myself for like the the calligraphy or like the the simple things like as you can see i have the ankh right here just the actual lining the tracing in the shade simple tracing in the shading and the heart right here heart of an angel piece right here simple tracing in a little 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 shading uh my thing my next thing i would like to work on is actual pieces like shading as you can see on this silicone piece right here i have my brand's logo quimbo milano uh and i have some makeshift clouds right here so i don't know if you ever see that well but like my next goal is to create actual filler pieces for like the tattoos right here i have right here on my arm my forearm so i can complete it as one so it can look like a sleeve so it's not the best but it's something to work with and it's just like my shading that i've done with literally like let's just say i had no gray washes at all i hadn't even made my gray wash so it's just simply one black color and with the whip shading that i've learned the techniques from i learned from uh youtube this piece right here is just, i need to work on my shading the only issue i had because um even though i seen tutorials i didn't really pay too much attention that once you put these black lines here you can always shade over those lines that you already made without you thinking it's bleed into that black i didn't know that at first so as you can see it looks pretty inconsistent i don't know if you've seen the video i don't know if i'm should i drop the, i'm gonna drop the video just because y'all like the the last uh thing i did uh and there's still some inconsistencies in this piece right here but as i keep going i will continue to keep going on these fake skins and then once i feel comfortable enough i'm gonna put it on my skin and to show y'all the back this is how y'all can see where like the depth is like wow horrendous but it's like it's a work in progress you know horrible skins is not thick at all not thick at all but you can kind of see the design and i actually did pretty good on this skin where it it doesn't bleed or like the lines doesn't blow out as much so i guess it depends on the skins as well so if y'all would like to have oh let's get into the okay into the culture so i i got these poseidon i had i bought these purchased these 50 piece poseidon cartridge I don't know what version it is. I did some research on, research on it, but I didn't see any research on these particular cartridges. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna give y'all my my pros and cons with these. So what I don't like with the round liners, it gets the job done, but it spatters a lot and it spits a lot of ink out rather it like holding the ink and you know like consuming the line neatly because when you doing when you starting off and your stint it just has you have the you have the stencil to work with it like it kind of messes up the overall artwork because you kind of if you run into some issues where it's, it's spattering and it's kind of throwing it off and it's too dark it's overbearing over your uh, stencil it's like when you wipe it off you wipe it off the stencil as well so that could that can be a cause of problems for the artist so and i did i did i did watch a few videos to where i'm like you know what these tattoo artists are just being super duper picky i 
why y'all being picky, bro? It's just art, my nigga. Like, it's just art, and it gets like, come on, man. It's not that deep, but it is that deep because practicing on myself, you don't want to have sh- shitty artwork on your body. So, the liners, I'm not a fan of these liners. I'm gonna be real. The shading, I'm gonna get a shading a good 8.5 out of 10. Uh, I haven't tried tried the round. I haven't tried the magnums, or I haven't tried the curved magnums. But since I have faith in the shading, in a shading, I, I kind of want to assume they're pretty good because that's what the curved mag- magnums m- mainly are for. But if y'all guys want another video to get in depth or a, a tutorial or like a preview of how these actual needles work just drop a comment uh, drop a like and a comment down in the description drop a comment down below and i'll make sure i get that video for y'all so yeah if y'all interested in seeing more of these videos please make sure y'all like it helped me so much in the algorithm and i would like to continue to drop more content as such as this and if i can help you guys and i can you guys can help me let's work together you know what i'm saying um it's niche related so it's like if you in the artwork and you into making creating art and tattooing you want to make even if you want to make it a hobby or a profession you know i'm here for you i'm here with you let's support each other i'm gonna support you you watch me and i'm gonna support you and answer any question that you have below i'm gonna be transparent as possible so yeah once again it's your boy dear milan if you made it this far please don't hesitate to like comment and subscribe and also I'll see y'all soon.